he must stay. I love it. It's a sweet video. But especially today on Queen's Day itself, which is so flipping amazing. And right now, guys, we have a pleasure. It's been arranged, especially for one of our Queen fans, to speak to the man himself. Live all the way on Skype. He's joining us directly from Skype. It's Jim Jenkins, founder of the Queen Convention. And he's right here. He's speaking to us directly live. I don't know where he's actually. Good evening, Jim. I am. I'm there. How are you doing, mate? Hello. 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 We've got an internet connection problem. Oh. Hold on a minute. We'll come back in. It's... We're having a bit of issues with the internet, I'm afraid, guys. It's been terrible. I am going to find it. Oh, there we go, mate. There we go, mate. Yeah. yeah. I can hear you fine. I can, hello, Taz. Hello, mate. Hello there. Hiya. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the Queen's Day special. We've done, we've done this for over 12 hours now on the YouTube stream. Uh, this, wow. the, this goes for a little bit, but we've done so many videos. We showed even the, the tribute concert earlier on this, this afternoon, and we've had just an amazing day so far. And today, we finally get a chance to speak to you, mate, which is so amazing. Thank you so much for giving us you a pleasure of your time to, uh, to do this. Which is great. No problem. No uh, problem at all. Anyway, mate, listen, uh, we've, ha we've had um, a great response from people who wanted to ask questions to you, but we'll get to that in a second. But what I would like to ask you first is, how did you ever get involved with Queen? It all, it all started because when the original fan club secretaries, Pat and Sue, left, he brought in a lady called Therese Picard. Oh. And she wanted to write a biography for the fan club. Okay. And Brian said to her that, oh, we've got this fan in Liverpool that's been with us all the way through. Speak right. to him. And she, she started contacting fans in Liverpool and found me and off I went to London and sat with Brian and Therese and helped out with the first fan club biography. So really, that's how it started. Brilliant. Very good. And um, I understand that uh, that you recently just did the uh, Queen Convention that was just done yeah. this year. Let me know yeah. about it. How was that? Oh, absolutely amazing. Uh, it's the 30th weekend convention that we've done. Uh -huh. And I personally think it's one of the best we've ever had. The atmosphere, if you've never been there, all I can say is it's like your birthday, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, yeah. and any other special day that you have all rolled into one. It's an atmosphere. That it's electric. It, there's nothing quite like it. It's so, yeah, a, it went really, really well. It's an amazing event, isn't it, mate? It's absolutely, it, seriously fantastic. It's yeah, just so cool. Very much. And we've, we've just got, we've, we've been, yesterday on Skype, we had a lot of questions from McQueen fans who want to ask you questions. So, do you not, oh, mind, right. do you not mind asking me these questions at all? No, not at all. No, that's one. Right, that's you, if I can answer them. But I'll have okay, a okay, that's fine. That's fine. Anyway, what we did yesterday, we did a poll yesterday, and I asked on skype um how many what would like to get through we've got 20 questions basically no i'm going to do these random but i'm going to ask certain ones that we're going to have but okay. we just want some uh, ideas what we need as well i said we can hear you perfectly as well which is cool the first question we had was from david roast and his question was will we ever see a box set of the queen anthology david yes it it will happen uh, greg brooks queen's archivist is working on it He's working on it all the time. Yep. And it's just when is the right time to actually release it. Okay. So all I can say is yes, there's no fixed date. I know that for sure. But yes, it will come out. But when? I don't know. Well, that's what I mean. Hands on again. So, uh, David, you answered the questions being answered, mate. So it is officially going to be out. That's good. The same question we have is from Mark Bryden, who you've met You've yeah. met at the Queen's Day we did in, uh, in Newcastle. Great guy. Yeah, He's that's next, right. He up, says... Up, up, up there, Han yeah, I remember him. I did. Yes. I met him up there, yeah. We met you, we, we met you up the Queen's thing. Uh, his question yeah. was, is Hyde Park officially going to be the next release next year? I don't think so. Oh. Hyde Park 76 is my favourite Queen concert. Yeah. So I would absolutely love that to be the next release. Yes. I don't yeah. think they've made a decision yet. Right. From what I've heard is that some of the songs are not that good quality. Right, yeah, okay. So I can't see them releasing. I know at the convention, 
dregs at Houston and Earl's Court. A similar thing. It's not the camera angles weren't quite right. right. So maybe what they'll do is they'll put all three of those concerts together right. to make one right. concert, which not a bad idea. Yeah, it's a good idea, that, actually. We, heard, we also heard in the process that there was multi-tracks that they found as well. Yeah, they they have got some. I mean, we've already heard, haven't we? You take my breath away from uh, Hyde Park oh, and Hollywood <laughs> from Houston and that. So yeah, it's there. Maybe the multi-track will release the CD of the audio, but for the visual, you know, it might be a sort of amalgamation of all three concerts. I'd love all three to come out separate, but just yep. got this feeling it's not going to happen. Right. Okay. So there you are, that's a Mark. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> so Mark, just can't you confirm, mate? He just said it's not officially released yet, but it's on the cards. Watch this space. Being dis- it's, all I can say is that the next release is now being discussed. But right. I'm going to be honest, I really don't know what it is. Keep that under wraps for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question three was from Leander. He lives in Belfast. Originally he's from Holland. And he wanted to ask, um, would there ever be a Japan release set? Of the two concerts that they've already released, the Super Live in Japan and the yeah, yeah, Yonder, maybe. Um, I, don't know, I think they're looking at the seventies at the moment, so mm-hmm. let's not jump to the eighties. Okay. You know, I'd rather them concentrate on the seventies, right? Especially the live killers and that, crazy. Live a they've got thing. some excellent film for them. Amazing, yeah, amazing stuff. Yeah. Uh, next okay, question. Let's get that first. Oh. Brilliant. Okay, next question was from the, all the Queen fan club. They wanted to ask this question: Will there be any future box sets with the fortieth anniversary theme? Well, po- again, possibly. I mean, the could be, couldn't it? I mean, next year is a day at the races, so mm. they could release Earl's Court to coincide, you know, with mm. with that. So mm. I think it's possible. Okay. I think they'll okay. wait and see how this Hammersmith Odium one is going to do, but yeah. fingers yeah. crossed we do get some more. I hope so. We got, I mean, unless we, got, we think, oh, we've done the 40th anniversary twice now. Yes. Maybe give that a little bit of a rest. I, 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 yes. I'm not sure. Sure, sure. Um, um, is there any plans to for Brian May to do a solo album or a box set bringing out? Yeah, I think he's already discussed the box set, so that is possibly... Strongly on the cards. Thumbs up. I think one. with Roger bringing his out, Brian will want to bring his out now. So we've had Freddie's, we've had Rogers. Yes. So I think yes, I, I'd say yes. we're going to get Brian. That's fine. Okay. I'm confident. Right. Okay. Um, will Mary Austin publish a book? This is from the this is from the Queen fan club. Um, Mary's very quiet. She doesn't really talk about it. I can't see that happening. No. She may feel she's going to betray Freddie if she does it. It would be an interesting read. I, I'd be quite happy with that one. Yeah, cool. But I, I doubt it. I right. think she would have done it by now if it was going to happen. Okay, okay. Um, next question was from David again. He says, "What what is your favourite concert and best memory of Freddie Mercury?" Favourite concert is Hyde Park from '76. It was I'd never been to a concert with such a big crowd. Mm. I missed. Edinburgh and Cardiff because I was on holiday in America. Oh, okay. I got oh, back okay. on the Friday as the gig was on the Saturday, so I was thrilled to bits being yes. able to see them. And you know, we got you take my breath away and you oh, song. Yeah. We missed out on yeah. Time Over Down because the police wanted yeah. to cut the concert short. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite memory of Freddie? Oh, I've got loads. Yeah. Sitting yeah. talking to him. Yeah. Probably about many things except Queen. Wonderful. So oh, cool. maybe that that's a strong memory. Yeah. But loads, yeah. absolutely so loads. Any, David, so. any, yeah, was there any f- funny Freddy stories that you can share with us? I've been share, yeah, Freddy story. Um, one of my favourites, how about the, the very last time I spoke to him? Not actually saw him, but the very last time I, I spoke to him was at a party Queen had for the 20th anniversary. Yep. We were in the Groucho Club in London. Oh, cow, cool. And he was, he was standing on his own, which was mega rare yeah. to see Freddie yeah. on his own. So I went over to him and I just wanted to thank him for the years that he'd given me. Amazing. My life, which at the time was, it was more than half. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and I got to thank him. And he, he put his hands on my shoulders and said, and he was tapping my shoulders as he was answering me. And he said, very nice of you to say so, Jim. And someone called him. Mm-hmm. And he turned around to me and said, wait there. I'll be back. I'm still waiting. Wow. Wow. So, so that's very special. Wow. I got to thank wow. him to his face. He, I'm happy about that. He, he, he was, he was today, today is the most important day of it. That we celebrate his life. You know, we celebrate his music, you know, today. For me, you know, I, for me, yeah, we're all sad today because it's my least favorite day of the year. Yeah, it obviously. is. It is. But, but, but I think Freddie is very much alive. He is. He's here. I, oh, most definitely. I think he's much, to be honest, he's much more popular today mm-hmm. than 24 years ago today. Oh, wow. wow. And I, I just can't believe how youngsters, I, I, I saw them at the convention a couple yeah. of weeks ago, yeah. actually yeah. spoke to a few. When you see the younger ones who yeah. are into the music so much, mm. And you think, wow, this is going to go on for a long time because yeah. obviously their children will be brought up on Queen oh, music. True, yeah, of course. And yeah. their children, and me and you will be dead and gone and forgotten about. Yeah. But Freddie Mercury, he's yeah. going to last forever, in the true sense of the word, forever. Couldn't have put it much better than anything than today is supposed to be. Okay, let's see with the rest of the questions now. Um, okay. Let's see what else we have. Um, what are your thoughts on the Queen Forever release? And what do you think of the three tracks that were released on it? I love Love Kills. I just wish they wouldn't have done the chugga 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 bit at the end. I did hear a version that Adam sang at one of the concerts in America, which I really enjoyed. Cool. Um, and I really like that slower. Um, Tempo type. Feel, type. yeah. Really, really good. Let Me In, I think, is superb. I love it. It's a really good track. Should have been on the work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not that it's a typical Brian May song, and it's... Beautiful. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Oh, when Freddie says, open the door, baby. Oh, oh boy. I that, just, gave, that gives a lump I, I in my throat. I, I get so attached, emotional when I hear that. And oh, yeah. It, it can. I, go, it, it, yeah, oh, I haven't Freddie, played that you, one today. Why? You, you, feel, you, feel, you feel like he's there behind you in the room. It's like, yeah. Oh. He's in the speakers. <laughs> He's like, hiding. When I first heard um, it, when I first heard it on Radio Two, I got so emotional and just went, "Oh my god!" I said, "Where they got this from?" Something, isn't it? That that it's that particular moment of the track. Mm. I do love the track. I think it's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. going to be honest. I'm not a Michael Jackson fan, so there must be more to life than this. I prefer the Mr. Bad Guy version. Uh, Michael's got a sweet voice, but yeah. it's not my cup of tea. Yeah. Same, same as better, obviously, from Master Mr. Bad Guy, which I do like. I do like Yeah, it's a, it's a great song. It's amazing. Uh, it's amazing. Well, yeah, no, but the album as a whole, there was a couple of missions I was surprised weren't on there, but it seemed to work. It, you know, I don't think it was meant for us a lot. Yeah. It was meant for yeah. Joe Bloggs in the street. Yeah. And it worked. Yeah. I think people did like it. It showed them a softer side and some great tracks on it for people to hear for the first time, probably. Yeah, of course. So it might have introduced the albums to a, a, yeah. another generation of people. Yep. Compilation yep. albums work. Uh-huh. You uh-huh. do do work, and Queen have seemed to be quite successful at it. Though I think Absolute Greatest was probably the better one because it had the hit song. Mm-hmm. So I found it an interesting, okay. an interesting release. Right. I, I mean, from my point of view, Queen Forever, the standard edition, is my, my favourite one ever. We just actually, we actually just give it away that tonight in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Queen quiz, and someone's won that already. So um, that's even... Oh, someone, someone at the convention got a signed one by Brian, Roger and John. John? John? Yeah. He signed a copy a couple of weeks ago. So... Is it... Who actually, is it... We actually auctioned it off, and I I don't know I, because yeah. I'm doing the auction. Yeah. I'm not well, that's really that's concentrating a... on who the bit who's bidding, but well, yeah. whoever got it has got a prize there, haven't they? So where it was, was nice so to where... see three signatures on it. Pity there can't be four, but so was... obviously there can't be. Oh, of course, so if was... you see a signed copy of Forever by Freddie, please don't think it's real. <laughs> it's fake. <laughs> so John, so John is active. 
No, not really. No, he signed some photos for us for the convention mm. um, to raffle and auction. Oh, nice um, he's involved with business meetings with Queen. I think any decision they make, John, you know, gives his blessing. Even with the Queen and Adam Lambert concerts, mm. uh, the new ones that they're going to be doing next year in yeah. Germany and yeah. Italy. And so. He's he's active in that way, but he's not publicly active, you know. Right. He's keeping a very short. He's not, he's not out there. He's keeping a very. Sorry. He's keeping a, very, sorry. He's keeping a low profile, isn't he? Very much so. so, I, so he's retired and he's called it a he's day. Wealth, he's wealthy. You know? He's wealthy. So. Well, he's, yeah, he's got enough money. He's worked hard. He's it. He deserves it. And now let the man have a, a happy retirement. Else. It's a shame he's not out there, but okay. his decision. So yeah, that's right. I'm oh, his decision. Sure. Okay, mate. Sure. Good. Carry on with the rest of the questions. Uh, this next question is yeah. pretty, pretty important. Um, any plans for next year's convention? Well, yeah. Twenty-five years that he passed away. Any plans right. that we can exclusively say? Um, it's been discussed. Okay. We were discussing it yesterday. I so would... it's I was, I was going to ask something, actually. Would you consider having Jessica Soto back in? Having a what? Sorry, Kaz. Sorry? Sorry? What did you say? I said, would, we... would you consider Jessica Soto coming back? Coming back. Oh, definitely. I mean, Jeff is a very, very busy man. He's amazing. You know, um, I believe he's not well this week, so oh. get better soon, Jeff. Um, yes, most definitely. I think Jeff is a great friend. I would have loved to have seen him fronting Queen. I did get the pleasure of seeing him fronting Journey a couple of years ago and I thought he was fantastic and I saw Journey with Steve Perry. But I thought Jeff's done a great job. He's a great he's a great stage performer. He's awesome. Like Adam I think Adam's a great stage performer. Freddie Mercury's the ultimate. But Jeff you know he's he's great. So this is a question that we had from a Queen fan and this came from Mark. What's your thoughts on Adam Lambert and Queen? Well, it's Queen plus Adam Lambert, so we'll put it the right way. Okay, down. okay. And um, Lambert, Mark, I do, I, you know, I I quite like Adam Lambert. I remember the first time I saw him on American Idol and he sang yep. Bohemian Rhapsody. Yep. And I thought, wow, mm-hmm. that boy can sing. Good, um, good. I think it's up to Queen what they want to do, Brian and Roger. Yep. They have formed yep. since young men, Roger Moore as a boy. Um, mm. It's in their blood to perform. And by taking Adam out on tour with them, mm-hmm. let them play the guitar, play the drums, and put on a good show. Yeah. And if this new generation of fans of having the opportunity to see what a Queen show was like. I mean, it's, it, it's not Queen. It can't be Queen because Freddie's not here and John's oh, not there. Oh, of course. Of course. It's, it's, a, it's a part of it. I... I don't mind it. You know, I saw them here in Liverpool at the beginning of the year. I saw them in London a couple of years ago. And it's okay. It's not, it's not, it's not Queen, but it's the music of Queen. And I think Adam's doing a damn good job, to be honest. I know, I think he's winning people over Mm -hmm. and they must really like him because he wouldn't be planning these shows, would he, next year? Yeah. Um, Let's see what happens. Keep it going. Oh, yeah, Mark, I, I'm, I'm all in favour of Adam Lambert. I prefer him to Paul Rogers, but that's just my own opinion. Okay, that's cool. Uh, a few more questions. Um, I'm really enjoying this, actually. <laughs> uh, a few more questions. There's, there's not many, there's not many. Sorry, it's just a few more to go. Um, we'll, skip, we'll skip that one. We'll go for the... Um, we'll go for the um, see, do you, um, yes. Uh, what... Uh, what what do you like of today's music other side of Queen? I understand you're a Magnum fan. Oh, I love Magnum. Oh, yes, I, I've, 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 I've followed Magnum since he did a support tour with White Snake back in 1978. Amazing. So I've been a fan for a long time. Yeah, I can't wait for their new album in February. Um, big, big Magnum fan. Love Bob Catley. Love yeah. Tony Clarkin. I just love the whole Brilliant. band. You know, Mark Stanway, Alan Barrow, Harry James. The great band. I'm also a big Marillion fan. Yep. But Marillion yep. with Steve Hogarth, not with um, Fish. Fish. Yeah. Never liked them with Fish, <laughs> but I do like them. I love them with um, have Steve you, Hogarth. Have you, 
Have you heard of a band called FM? Yeah, I saw FM. I saw them with Magnum. Have you heard the <laughs> new single? Go. No, I haven't. Big Brother. Big Brother. No. Check it out. Check it out. It okay. Sounds like, it sounds like Paul Rogers. What oh, bloody awesome song though. Oh, right, okay. Check it out, Big Brother, it's FM, not. Big Brother. Long time since I've heard anything new by FM. I, okay. I see them. Okay. Saw them a few, a couple of times in concerts in the yep. Northwest. Yep. Last time I saw them was yep. an acoustic gig uh, again a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, no, they're great. Yep. They're great bands, you know. Yeah. I love, I love going to concerts. I love live music, especially like someone like Taito. <laughs> Because I, I love Danny Vaughan. Danny Vaughan is the ultimate singer, in my opinion. But, Brilliant. Um, so I love to see them, and they're touring next year again. So can't oh, cool. Wait cool. Are you planning to uh, write a book next year? Hello? Planning to? Are you planning to write a book next year? Taz? Hello? You've gone off. Hang on, I haven't. I haven't. I'm Hello? here. I'm here. Hello? Hello? Oh, I've gone off again. One second. Sorry, guys. You just got internet problems again. No, no, no. No, no, no. Drop frames. Come on, come on. Oh, no. No. Oh, I'm so enjoying that as well. Uh, we will get back to Jim in a minute. I haven't gone offline. My internet's playing up, obviously. Um, Just one second, mate. We will get back to Jim in a second. I'm going off line. Hang, hang on. We're getting back. Hey, he's back. He's back. Sorry. Ah, oh, we're back. It's just the internet. My internet is acting funny. Sorry about that. I apologize. No, that's that. a problem. What were you starting to ask me then? Are there any plans? I was asking you uh, any plans for a book by yourself? Um, not by me. You know, I. I no, I, I, I don't think so. People like to hear my stories, but I Great. don't know whether I'd. Put them into a book or not? Okay. Jackie and I have talked about updating as it began. Yep. Um, so, yep. I'd say that was more on the cards than me cool. writing the book. And cool. I know Gary Taylor and Greg Brooks are involved in a lot of book writing and doing different things. I'll leave it to them. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Well, that's all the questions that we've done. Um, we, we, have, we did have a few more, like obviously the books. We don't know about that. Apparently, your favourite your favorite era is 1974. Oh, it's got to be Queen 2, Sheer Heart Attack. Yeah. Oh, we were just going to ask you that. What would you like to be played in full? Which song would you like to be played off Sheer Heart Attack? Now I'm Here. Now I'm Here. Because that reminds me of the concert in when they opened the show for the Sheer Heart Attack tour. Yeah. And I hadn't heard it because, funny enough, Sheer Heart Attack tour and the night at the opera the albums weren't released when they played in Liverpool. Oh. So it came after the shows. Right. So it, it was strange hearing a, a concert with new songs. Yeah. It was quite nice, really. And now I'm here. Oh, boy. That right. was the one. So, well, yeah, uh, now I'm here. Best, Absolutely love that song. Best song ever done that. We're going to play that actually after the, after the interview is over. Cool. A few right. things. I think that's it for the questions. So that's okay. cool. Uh, we've had, uh, as I said, we, we didn't have many donations today, but we just want to do this for your, just thank you very much for giving us an hour, uh, half an hour of your time. We didn't want to, I just made sure that we didn't, I didn't sort of interrupt you basically what you were doing. So, you know. It was, it was no, just, just I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here tonight reflecting as I normally do on the 24th. As lovely, I say, it's not lovely. my favourite day, but oh, no. you've made it. Tough. I'm going to be honest now. This has lifted me up a little bit. And, Great. And I think, yeah, I know we're commemorating Freddie today and remembering him. Really, that's what we should be doing. It's no good sitting here all moping and crying. No, 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 no. Freddie yeah. wouldn't want that. No. And I realise now yeah. that this is going to go on. This is going to affect people for a long, long time in the future. I just and I say, yeah, let's celebrate his life. So I think I'll play Ray's an grass. album now. I might, play sheer, I might play Sheer Heart Effect now. Good one, mate. Fantastic. Just before we end this interview, I wish, I wish to thank everybody on this Queen's Day, by the way, because you guys have been amazing. Um, I just want to quickly say that the results of the poll, and Jim, if we can, we can share this with you, by the way, the results oh, yeah. of the poll. We had a poll. We had, we had three, three straw polls today. We've yeah. had the results already for the video that people have requested for. 
And what's come out as I can't believe what people wanted to see was a Friday night concert of Wembley. Really? Yes. Oh, well, my choice would have been live at the Rainbow, but they are unpredictable. <laughs> um, I was kind of half and half. They were going, Rainbow, and they thought, Friday night concert of Wembley, we've got to see it. Well, that's a rare one because that's not really, it's never been shown on TV, has it? So. Well, we're showing it tonight on uh, Queen's Day. Oh, right. Be, we're showing it tonight. Sounds good. So yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll post you the information, or I'll post you the link to yeah, the live stream, I'll watch. and we'll yeah, do that. Good idea. We'll show in that at quarter past nine, actually, so uh, make sure you tune okay. the full version of it. We're going to show it uncut. Okay. okay. I good. will, I have to say, Jim, it's been a pleasure doing this interview, mate. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I've enjoyed it too, and thanks to everyone for the questions. That's fantastic. Uh, we will have. Uh, we we hope we what we normally do is we have a Skype conversation every um, every Wednesday, I think, and we yeah. have people coming on just qu sharing the Queen stories and have questions for you for people and things. And we 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 also record it for YouTube as well, so we actually pro pro I professionally do it on YouTube. And we right. have, we have Queensville's own page there. We have our we have our Queen collections, our CD collections, our retro collections. And so far, we've got a lot more collections are coming up from Holland, and we're doing a filming on Sunday, and I think this one would be the interesting one we're going to have. So Fantastic. all the information you can find on our, on our, I will put, actually, what I'll do, Jim, is I'll send you all the and links. Go on and have a look. I'll yes, send you please. all the links for Queensville's own page on Facebook. I'm also going to send you the links for what we've done, and I'll say, we're going to play, and now I'm here in a second, so I'll okay. give you a link for that. I won't play it until you come on to the main stream itself when I do it. Okay. But we've had a great thing. Anyway, I want to thank you so much to Jim Jenkins for all over that. Where, well, by the way, by the way, where where about are you living now? I'm in Liverpool. Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool. I was going to say. I was like, is yeah, there some I'm Liverpool? Scouser. Yeah, Scouser. Give away. <laughs> well, listen, uh, Taz. Well done to you for what you do, and I think thank Freddie so will be smiling down. So there we are. Appreciate it, mate. Well appreciate done. It. Well done, mate. Cheers. Thank you very much indeed. I really appreciate. it. And I do have to say thank you for everybody who's tuning in on this as well. Jim, your song's going to come on now. And I'll share my plate on Skype actually since it's easier this way. And uh, thank you so much for your time. And uh, here is um, when I sort this out a minute, it's going weird for some reason. Here's now I'm here for Jim. Brilliant. Cheers. Thanks, Bye, mate. everyone. Appreciate Cheers. it, mate. Appreciate it. Bye -bye. Thanks so much. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Sounds bye. Like